Poor showing, Oda. Poor showing. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sensei the Glove, the bald head black anime nerd, back with my review of One Piece Manga Chapter 938, A Woman's Secret. And flat out, this was not a good chapter. This is a subpar chapter, in my opinion, um, compared to the other chapters of Wano. Um, I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews about this chapter. Um, I personally didn't like it as much. It obviously was a setup chapter. But it was a weak setup. Like, you know, Oda has, been, you know, he's known for the setup chapters. He's known for all of the, you know, we're going to build up to this and then deliver on this. Whether that be 300, 600 chapters later or, you know, 50 or 20 chapters later. Um, he's known for that. But, you know, he, the good thing is he's all, he always builds up the hype. Um, but I think he did a piss poor job of doing that here. Um, I'm just going to get straight to it. I'm referring to the reveal that everybody know reveal that everybody knows that Komurasaki is Hiori. Um, it isn't plainly stated that the woman that's walking with Otoko or carrying Otoko or being with Otoko is Komurasaki, but we know what Komurasaki looks like. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people, you know, kind of, you know, in conversation on Twitter and things like that, try to kind of defend it. And I'm one of those people. You guys know that I love one piece you know to the death i talk about it ad nauseum on this channel um and i i, I really i really wanted to sit here and try to like cop a plea <laughs> for oda in this chapter but it, i couldn't like i couldn't like i've seen a lot of people like like joy boy um he was kind of making mention like no you know it's gonna be a twist later um he was re re uh, relating it to us learning that you know ace is actually uh go Roger's son it's like I disagree with that because the connection to the two is completely different when we were introduced to Ace nobody thought because the series was so early on nobody thought that that was Luffy's brother until they said this is Luffy's brother and then for then at that point he was he wasn't even in this like in the series that much he was there and then gone you know what I mean he was there for maybe two or three chapters and then it was over with until we saw him again a whole bunch of chapters later um, so it was, it was really just, oh, okay, Luffy's got a brother and that's it. So, you know, when, when the reveal came out, yeah, it was like, holy shit, but we had nothing else to go off of. Um, since we are 930 chapters into this series and we've seen so much through not only the main story, but the many little story arcs, um, and see how things play out. It's good to hope that it's going to be somewhat of a, you know, a huge, a twist, to this, you know, whole Hiori reveal, but it's hard to, it's hard to really believe that, and it's hard to really have faith in that, just given how things have gone. Um, I was talking with a few friends in a couple chats, um, in regards to, you know, how Oda really treats women in the series. Like, if it's a beautiful woman, he's nine times out of ten not gonna truly make them evil, and if he does, i.e. pudding, he, he has to make them redeem themselves in some way. So, I don't think that she's going to be like evil or anything. So that can't be the twist. So what, what is the twist going to be? Are they going to say that, oh no, this actually isn't Kamurasaki. There's a, they're two separate people. And she has a devil fruit that makes her do blah, blah, blah. I just think that that's a piss, po that's bad. That's just, it, it, it's just bad. And it's only, I feel like it's really only bad because of what we know about one piece like how how we've seen stories play out in one piece and that's you know that's kind of like a gift and a curse when you have a series that's been going on for so long you're gonna, you're gonna create a pattern of what you do you're gonna create a pattern of how you tell a story you're gonna create a pattern of how you introduce characters there's only so much you can do and you know i always praise oda for being able to you know be diverse and try to switch it up a little bit I still have faith that he will switch it up a little bit, but I don't think the switch up is going to be enough for me to think that this reveal was okay. That's all I'm saying. Um, and I've been talking about this for about four and a half minutes now. So I kind of want to move on uh, just to wrap it up. I don't, I didn't like the reveal. Um, 
as you know, I've been calling Kimura Saki Hiori this entire time, every time I refer to her, just because we all knew that that was going to be Hiori. Um, but aside from that, uh, the other parts of the chapter, just in, in tandem with that whole Hiori reveal at the end, uh, Zoro is okay. Um, I saw a lot of people talking about how Zoro got one shot and clearly you're trolling. But um, it is kind of fucked up that Zoro, you know, had to get, I don't want to say taken out. He did one shot uh, Kamazu, but he had to get taken out for X amount of time. Um, they're pro they're uh, post supposedly healing him um, with toad oil, but in that we get the reveal that Otoko is more than likely the witching hour boy, which I didn't think. So that was a, a better reveal than the Yori reveal to me because it was kind of explained in this chapter that Otoko means man, um, which means, okay, Otoko isn't really a girl, which I thought Otoko was. Um, maybe that's just me. I, I don't know if they were ever, if they ever really explained if Otoko was a girl or boy. But uh, yeah, so that's interesting. We also, you know, in, in conversation with, you know, finding out how Otoko got the toad oil, uh, we found out that he stole the, uh, the oil from the capital, which, you know, lines up with what the Wishing Hour boy does, taking from the rich, giving to the poor, um, i.e. Bizu Town. Another thing uh, that's been going on throughout the, the, you know, the main part of the chapter uh is basically that the the entire Wano, the capital, is all in an uproar because you know the Shogun has found out about the Kotsuki uprising. So you know everybody from Nekomamushi and Arashi, all of them are like, who the who the fuck snitched? Like who snitched, bro? Who out here snitching? Because this shit's supposed to be perfect, yada yada yada. So everybody's all like, you know, in an uproar. Um, trying to figure out what's going on, who told on who, how does, you know, how do these people know? Uh, all the people, all the Varoshi's people are basically capturing anybody who have, who has any affiliation with the Kotsky clan, um, capture, capturing them, beating their ass, all that shit. Um, and that really led to my favorite part of this chapter, which was, uh, the bickering between Law and Shinobu, which was fucking hilarious to me. Um, because obviously we cut back to Ibizu Town and there, you know, Sanji, I mean, Nami beat the shit out of Sanji. I'm assuming for, you know, peeping and, and seeing her ass naked. Uh, but, uh, they're, they're in there arguing about, oh my God, it must be Shinobu's basically saying it must be the fucking bear. Um, he got captured, so he must have snitched and all like, yo, fuck out of here, fam. My people ain't gonna snitch. They'd rather die. And I'm like, oh shit, okay, law, I see you, I see you. Shinobu must have got some motherfucking balls up out her, bro. She must have said, them niggas need to go. Anybody that's captured need to be silenced. Bro, Law must have looked at that bitch. <laughs> Law must have looked at that bitch and was finna hit her ass with a... Shambuzi. <laughs> oh God, was finna fucking kill that bitch, bro. I was, I was like, yo, Law's about to take off on Shinobu. But... The uh, exchange got interrupted because Kanjiro um, essentially came in and basically chilled everybody out. I was telling Shinobu, fucking relax. You know, this is this is you know them getting us riled up to fuck up our plans. You know, these are our friends. They're supposed to be helping us. You can't be you know being you know treat them like they are op because they're not really an op. Um, and that's you know that was that was pretty deep, but then that led into the Smile Man. I don't I forgot his fucking name. I, I'm terrible with his name. I just call him the Ibizu Smile Man. Um, he comes in with the fucking paper like, "Hey, I heard you guys outside. It's you and you and you." And he naming all of these people like that he knows. He's like, "Oh, hey, it's Shinobu. Oh, hey, it's Kondro. Like, hey, is everybody coming back? Is is it really the uprising?" So I'm like, "How how the fuck?" <laughs> How the fuck do you know them? You know what I mean? Like, how do you even know them? So, in my mind, could 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 the Smile Man actually be Denjiro? Um, obviously, from the silhouette that we saw like earlier on in the arc, you know, you would think that all these people are like, you know, all kind of tall, samurai looking, blah 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 blah. But we don't really know. I mean, it clearly, as you can see, fucking um, old man Hyo looks completely different than when he did twenty years ago. Like the, the motherfucker got shorter. Like. I didn't even think that was fucking possible, but Oda, you know what I'm saying, wacky ass 
shit like the nigga got shorter so i don't see why he would he wouldn't change the character of dinjiro slightly either just just for gag purposes but he'd still be an op ass smiling ass nigga um i don't know but that was that was another interesting part of the chapter overall um this was a subpar chapter like i said i would have to give this chapter like a three out of five uh a six out of ten um just because it <sighs> I feel like the chapter was heavily weighted on the reveal and the reveal wasn't that good. And that's really it. Um, my only real takeaways from the from this chapter would be Otoko probably being the Witching Hour boy and uh, the Ibizu Smile Man probably being Genjiro. Uh We didn't get any Luffy or Big Mom or any of that this arc, which, um, can I say something though, real quick? <laughs> like. How long has Big Mom been traveling? Like, Zoro has basically walked across the entire Wano, <laughs> but Big Mom is still on her way to Udon? Get the fuck out of here. Like, what is that? Um, but yeah, overall, like I said, man, 6 out of 10, 3 out of 5. It just wasn't that good of a chapter. And we have a break next week, so that makes it even worse. <sighs> so, I, so now I have, to, I have to sit with that for an extra week. Um, but other than that man let me let me know what you guys thought of the chapter let me know what you guys thought of the review uh down in the comments below like comment subscribe um i bring you guys reviews of anime manga i actually need to start doing some more anime reviews a lot of my uh subscribers have been telling me to do more anime content so i'm probably going to be watching a little bit of uh the anime the anime has actually been fire like the latest episode was fucking amazing it really had me hitting on the feels a little bit like i, I love the way they did that um and the next episode of the anime should be really good so i might do a review of that so uh stay tuned um but other than that sensei the glove out